I'm here with Alex Adams looking at a bit of the evolution of what has happened with foils recently. And we've got here three iterations of main foil and two iterations of the rudder. So can you explain a little bit as what's happened, Alex? Yeah, well, um, starting here, we've got the X, what was a standard X set main foil. And that, um, probably going back 10 years, maybe more. Um, and then over the years, the foils have just got slightly smaller and slightly smaller again. Um, and then in the last year, there's been a dramatic shift as materials have changed. And we've actually uh, gone away from carbon and the lower part of the foils to a stainless steel vertical. So um, you can see this foil here has um, a steel section from about here down to the bottom which is blended into a, a, a carbon section at the top. And that's allowed for dramatically smaller uh, foils, both in all, all dimensions. And how come the properties of steel are better than carbon? Everybody thinks carbon's the strongest thing, but steel meaning you can use that smaller section? Yes, the so carbon's very strong and very stiff in a specific direction. And um, when I think it's the, the torsional strength is quite hard to get in while maintaining the stiffness with a carbon foil, but metal is strong in all directions. Now, when I'm looking at the rudder, I have got the steel just glinting the sun straight off it. Yes, yeah, when I look at the main foil, it's white. What's the reason for that? Uh, so the main foil's uh, got a, it's a bit trickier to manufacture because you need a push rod to control the flap. Um, and so the solution Maguire has gone for is the, tra the, the steel actually finishes sort of three quarters of an inch from the, from the trailing edge. And there's a carbon piece that splices into the back um, for the trailing edge. And uh, that means it needs painting. And on this steel, especially on the rudder, this back edge is razor sharp. Yeah, um, you do need to be a little bit careful handling the, the rudders. And on the horizontals, I'm noticing just a slight curve up at the end. What's all that about? Um, well, I think this is probably something that's come out of America's Cup development. It's, uh, so when the tip of the foil pierces the surface, you don't get so much ventilation. So nowadays, like we saw on the AC-75s, where the tip of their foil is just penetrating the water, this is just so that you don't get that cavit cavitation? Uh, well, or uh, ventilation? Ventilation. Yep. Excellent. OK, well, Alex, thanks for your time. It's great to take a look at these and see how things have changed in the moth class. And steel, it seems, is the future. Yeah.